Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and if you got a moment, subscribe, not difficult, <laughs> anyway, I'm here, another beautiful morning, it uh, looks like about 5.10 a.m. on a Saturday morning, uh, I think the 29th of June, can't believe I know what day it is. <laughs> I cheated. I didn't look. But anyway, good news is yesterday we didn't lose any chicks yesterday. Uh, Grace uh, went out to the chicken coop and did a video, which I will put a link to it. But I noticed the three chicks they still got in quarantine got one that looked pretty rough in the video. Uh, it was in the corner laying. Uh, and I, I got a feeling we end up losing that one. But the rest of the ones that we have turned loose have improved dramatically. Just hope it continues. Uh, you know, I've been debated where this illness come from, and was curious. You know, because we've we went to over the edge trying to figure out uh, how it got started and so forth. You know, you've heard me talk about it, you know, we got, <clears throat> as you enter, you got, we spray our feet and so forth with chlorinated water or alcohol one or two. <coughs> and we normally wash our hands too and when we're cleaning inside the coop, uh, they wear gloves. And uh, we use chlorinated water to um, uh, sterilize our Persian areas. You know, we do, do all these measures to try to have healthy chickens. You know, to keep anything being carried in. Because we got uh, native chickens running everywhere outside. So that's why we do all this, trying to keep, because we figured the native chickens. Uh, we probably carry something in on them. Well, I don't think that's been the case. I think when we originally picked our chickens up, we picked up, you know, 13 adult chickens and 40 some uh, baby chicks. Now, the 40 adults were the Rhode Island Reds. That's where we're getting our eggs from to this day. Uh, 10 hens and 3 roosters. Now, I'm going back on memory. We didn't have them chickens just a few days, and we had sick chickens. And we had to quarantine some of them. I think... That's where the illness has come from. I think we brought it with the adult chickens. And I think it's they carry it for life. Yeah. And the only way to get rid of the disease, you got two choices. One, call them all, which I don't have the heart to do, and Grace don't either. Now, the disease is not transmitted to humans. The eggs and meat are fine. Uh, the meds we have given does help some. I think they call this, uh, if I'm not mistaken, from what I've gathered or researched before, I think, I probably won't pronounce it correctly. I think it's called merits. And uh, there is no cure. And it will flare up from time to time. Your chickens will always um, uh, continue to have it. Now, if they're not strong enough, they lose weight and they die. And if we're not strong enough, once they have symptoms, 
Within a day or two, they die. So, I have decided I'm not going to cull my chickens. We're going to continue as planned. And uh, I'm not going to be selling any of my chicks or, or chickens uh, live. To, but that's part of the plan that's going to be discontinued. Uh, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to sell them. I'm not going to risk uh, infecting someone else's flock. Uh, now, the chicks I probably could get by with as long as I don't introduce them to the flock. But I'm not going to give them on it. This is from research I've done about this condition. Uh, I was probably wrong about it being a, what they call, uh, not uh, foul pox. I had to think of the terminology because it's not chicken pox, it's foul pox. It's different from chicken pox, especially the chicken pox that humans get. Um, but you know, I thought it, that's what it would be. But uh, uh, if we had a place I could take uh, and have an autopsy done on one of our dead chickens, uh, I bet on it being the emergency disease because uh, they've got every symptom that uh, well, they've got every symptom. Sorry about that. I had sneeze. <laughs> They've got every symptom that relates to the marriage. I've watched uh, several YouTube channels that has experienced this, and I watched one, and it was it was sad. The people, um, their livelihood was part of their chicken business. And they had to call the entire flock. And uh, <laughs> and they experienced basically the same thing. They actually got some chickens from a different supplier than they normally do. And that's how they ended up with it in their flock. Uh, so... That's what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, and I know when I have these chicks transferred, we'll probably end up losing a few of those when they get a little old. But the strong will survive and will continue. It just, uh, I won't be selling my chicks for people to uh, mix with their, their flock. I'm not going to gamble and uh, hurt some other, but someone else's uh, chances of raising healthy chickens. So, my <laughs> plans <laughs> with uh, increasing the revenue here, part of it's not going to happen. But that's. They won't stop us. The egg production uh, should be okay. And, uh, I just, uh, the meat chickens, uh, as we cull the roosters, uh, we'll clean them, part them out, and uh, put them in the freezer and sell them in uh, affordable parts, which will help uh, offset the feed. Uh, Now, choosing which roosters now is going to be difficult. Because <laughs> I got some roosters out there I really enjoy. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, a couple that look like um, Polish uh, chickens. And I've got the uh, you know, big white uh, buff. Uh, he's 
He's uh, going to be something special. Uh, <laughs> and they got some upcoming Rhode Island Red Roosters, and they've gotten personalities. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll see when the time comes. And I'm going to do my best to uh, post a link my gracious last video. And if you don't mind, take time out to watch it. Uh, she did a great job of an overview of things that's happening here that uh, we're trying to improve on things. And she, uh, and you'll see the care and everything that she has uh, with what's going on. And with that said, check out the description and uh, go to her channel and and just enjoy her video. I did. She did a great job on it. So, until next time, guys, I really appreciate everybody. And thanks for watching.